Today's question is bearings. Bearings is used to find direction and our answer is expressed in degrees. Let's take a look at question number 11 and it reads the bearing of X from W is approximately our answer is D as in dog 315 degrees. Now let us go to our map to see how we arrive at our answer. To measure bearings, we will need our protractor. And here is our protractor. Now on the map, we can identify the two points. Point X, which is our destination. That's where we want to find the bearing of. And we can also identify point W. This is our starting point. Here are the two points and point X is where we want to find the bearing off. So the first step is that we're going to go to our map and we're going to take our ruler and just like with the compass direction, we're going to draw a little four point compass through our starting point which is point W of course and we're going to try to be as straight as possible so here we have our four point compass at point W and we're going to label just put a few labels on our compass north is always our starting point so I'm going to put W over here for west the next step we are going to take our ruler again and we're going to draw a straight line from the center of the compass to connect to or destination to connect with point X so here is the red line this is the center for our compass and this is a straight line it's the path that we'll take to get to where we want to go to at point X and the method that we're going to use to find the direction is bearings so in the next step now we're going to take our protractor and we are going to find the center of the protractor, which is here. Just like the cross right here on our compass, we can identify a little cross here. On the protractor, we are going to line up our protractor along our compass. And so the zero is aligned to north on our compass. So now that we have our protractor lined up properly on our compass we are going to read or read and find the bearing of point x and remember this is a line of point x and we are going to read in a clockwise direction this way so now let's find the bearings of point x so we remember we are reading in a clockwise direction in this this direction where you see the arrow so starting at north north is zero degrees on the protractor as you can see and we're reading 10 degrees we're reading clockwise 10 degrees 20 and we go all the way down to 90 degrees which is a right angle between north and east and we're going around because we want to get all the way to point X, which is this red line. So we are going around. When you come down to south, this line that we are following on the compass, it is 180 degrees. Remember, the protractor forms a complete circle, which measures at 360 degrees. And so between north and south, that would be half of the circle. And half of the 360 degrees would be 180. So therefore, the bearings of south would be one. 80 degrees and we are going around we are following and we want to get to this red line right here so we go around and if you should go stop at west right here on the protractor it would be 270 degrees so we want to get from now we are at west and we want to get all the way to right here 
If we look carefully on the compass, the red line is right on the 315 degrees. So here is 3 on 310, here is 320, and right in the middle would be 315 degrees. And that's how we arrive at our answer. So now I'm going to show you another way how we can arrive at our answer by using the knowledge of the compass. Now the compass is divided into angles. Here we are looking at the four point compass and we are seeing four right angles between north and east. We have one right angle and a right angle is measured at, is valued at 90 degrees. So the bearings of east would be 90 degrees. So if a place is located in the east, the bearing would be 90 degrees. And here, between east and south, we have another right angle. So here we have two right angles, 90 degrees and 90 degrees. So therefore, the bearings of south would be 180 degrees. So if a place is located at compass direction um, south, the bearings of that place is 180 degrees. Right, so we can use compass direction and we can use bearings to locate places. Bearings is using angles to locate places. Now, here we remember I said that the four point compass has four right angles. Here we have another right angle, right? So if we are moving from south to west, we want to find the bearings of west. So we are going to add this right angle, this 90 to this um, 180, and here we will have. Um, 270 degrees so therefore if a place is located in the west the bearings of that place is 270 degrees and from west to north again is another right angle so if we add this 90 degrees angle to this 20, 270 degrees we get 360 for north so north can be 360 degrees closing off the circle. And when we are starting at north reading in a clockwise direction, it is zero. So north is used to start the compass and to close the compass. But remember, we still want to find the bearings of X using this method of the compass that I'm now showing you. Now, if between west and north is a right angle and right in the middle this compass point which would be actually northwest and northwest is right in the middle between um, north and west which is a right angle so if it's in the middle it means that it is the point is half of the right angle which would make here which would make here a 45 degrees angle right here a 45 degrees angle so if we want to find the bearings of x we would have to add the 45 degrees angle to the 270 and we will end up with the same 315 degrees